<laughs> they probably deleted all them pictures. All them motherfuckers got burnt up. Peace. Them motherfuckers, they probably, they got them bitches hid in the Vatican. They don't want us to see that. They don't want us to see what the real Paris look like. Black beard. I ain't seen no white man with no black beard. Shit, no. You can't trick me. I know what the fuck going on. Positive black cowboys. Right, man. What? Beer. Crazy. Man. <laughs> right. Crazy. Positive black cowboy. Yeah. Guess where they was from? Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> the real Dallas when the Mexicans had it. Um, uh, yeah, it was cool. You just need this whole black excellence network. Just to, they didn't even have a whole show about a nigga who just trained dogs. One of them hood ass <laughs> dog trainer nigga. He got ripped. Like, you think he, like, on the outside, it looked like a ghetto ass business, but then <laughs> on the inside of this little ass trap house, but then they get nothing. I love you, little bitch. You so mad one day. You better bite your daddy. Stop biting your daddy. You better stop biting your daddy. I love you, Jimmy. <laughs> really, just steal America's heart. This nigga gonna give him open everything. Yeah. Ellen wanna talk to him? Yeah. Uh -huh. White people bless him, let him train some dogs he ain't never seen before. These are Irish Alaskan wolfhounds. What the fuck, Sean? Oh my god! I've been looking them dogs up for five years. Um. That's a show. Gangsta niggas with little dogs. <laughs> Yeah, all just a lot of these shows just be niggas bringing this shit, talking about it. <laughs> yeah, man, he my, he my girl dog, man. I love him to death, man. What's her name? Chicken Nugget. My little daughter named him Chick. She love Chicken Nugget. We done had Chicken Nugget for years. I love Chicken Nugget. I ain't like him at first. Uh, I was watching the game. He ran, jumped on me. And my little football buddy. Now I love Chicken Nugget. Said they wanna do that. Bro, no, can you will and get your ass whooped? Blue black, my nigga, my nerve. Fresh out the curry, Jelly the giant can serve nothing but balls in my work and a monster. Just the real fuck on my lap at all times. Whatever, however, this young niggas don't shine. Yeah. Nigga, what? Huh? Give a fuck, nigga, what? Full of that weed. Full of that weed. Chico with the big shoes on. <laughs> you big man. Chico with those big shoes on. Cause he's a big man. They made me feel tall. Uh. They made me feel Say tall. Uh. They made me feel tall. Uh, come on. I'm not short no more, y'all. Uh, come on. I they said, Chico make me feel tall. Big shoes they on. make me feel tall. The big shoes they make on. me feel tall. They got the big shoes I ain't short on. no more, y'all. I'm said, almost Craig Chico height. Chico got the big shoes I'm almost shoes Craig on. height. I'm almost <laughs> Craig so height. Big. <laughs> yeah, they're so big. <laughs> Hey man, the picture needs show. We need a black man network. If it was a network that that would cater to black men, what kind of show would you want to see on? Oh man, uh, Redemption, child support series. Ooh, Redemption, where a nigga get all the redemption for the child support, bullshit child support cases. Like we just show niggas, you know, like bouncing back how he was fucked up off the child support, and then show him getting back. Making sure everything good, the baby, he fucking with How about this one I had? What? How niggas come in and tell the story that time I got some pussy. Ooh! <laughs> Damn, we had to get that narrated. Morgan about Freeman. One of them, yeah, one of them boys. Morgan man. Freeman, James Earl Jones, or, or Vin Reigns. Yeah, that's a good one. That's What's another black man show we can use on, get on the black man network? I told him I have an old nigga just showing you how to properly wash a car. Yep. The first time. And another workout show called Get Swole. Big old nigga just teach you how you get swole. Everywhere he go, get money. Get Boom. money. Get Motherfucker. Money. Everywhere we go, we get money all so. Nigga doing it on the light poles Boom. and shit. First time I ever cursed out some white people. Ooh, I already talking about that. I see it. The arguing show. 
That's the arguing show. Yeah, the first time he ever went in on some white people, he had to tell some white people to kiss your ass. Yeah, Nigga, how about this one? This we reenact one. the story of how it happened. I was at the Whole Foods on accident. <laughs> I had to use the bathroom. That's how it start off, nigga. <laughs> and motherfucker just tell how he had to go with those white folks. I had another that. show for the self esteem. Where we just we gonna just go around recording black women just getting compliments. Oh yeah. To the camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> well thank you. You such a handsome young man. <laughs> yep. And you know what I know I wanna be? Giving props to, uh, this is the athletic side of this, the network, where we go get all the niggas that was supposed to make it to the NBA, but didn't because they was get on they the, get, yeah, get they story. The nigga that was nice from the hood, dunking on motherfuckers, like Earl Manigault, nigga, just get all them niggas from all the yeah, different hoods, different sports. The series finale. We have all-star game. Yep. <laughs> Let them get a redemption, man. That's the name of the network, the Redemption Sorry. Network. We bouncing black, black people. Man, we got to put We only that show in movies that got black women titties in them. Yep. <laughs> got to have a black dude yeah. in it. That's the only rule. Only rule. Long as the movie got black people in it, we playing it. Dang. Think all the black movies that ain't never came on TV. Yep. It's a bunch of them. It's a bunch of them. Man, that's a genius idea why you bullshitting, though. I am not bullshit. The black man that we really are the black man that work here at 85 South Show. We're going to make all these goddamn yeah, little, uh, yeah. this is the next yeah. pilot pitch. Yeah. What? You got too many ideas. Bro, think of all the niggas we know who played ball and went to the league. You know what I mean? How I many amazing, I got some pussy stories they got? Oh my god. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and that's the type of shit niggas will sit around and watch. The time you almost went to jail. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, it ain't many of them stories. That might just be see two seasons. Yep, that's it's it. It's gonna be a break between the, the first one. Almost went to jail. Or the time you went to jail. Or the time you yeah. went to jail. But that's a different series. The time you <laughs> went to jail is a completely different series. The time yeah. you almost went. The show called, nigga, how the fuck? Yeah. What niggas just tell you <laughs> how the <laughs> shit that you uh, went out the fuck now? Yeah. How the fuck y'all do that? Yeah. Mm. That one right there. We gotta have something for the kids too. You know what I mean? The cooking show for the kids. My first noodles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Show what they can safely Yeah, at home. And show them how to clean up. My first noodles, nigga. They come in and make their noodles first. I'm telling you, man. The Bro, kids that's what show. You just bring in. Get those kids and just let them cook. <laughs> You think that's how they mama submit? I want to submit my seven-year-old son to <laughs> the man. He makes the best lasagna. You mean to tell me this nigga make it real lasagna with lasagna noodles, ricotta cheek? Who showed him this? Exactly. I like to submit my eight-year-old daughter Sharice for her triple grilled cheese sandwich. It's three different cheeses and she make it in the oven so it's not pressed down or nothing. Wait, wait. Did you say a triple grilled cheese? Triple grilled cheese. <laughs> oh my god. I want to sign up my four-year-old son, Look Carlos. This man make the best cinnamon sugar bread that ain't toast. I'm telling you, it's the best. <laughs> He goes in. Because every black person going to want to submit my 10 year old son, Luther Jr. He make his own edible arrangements out of different corner store candies. It's very Come beautiful. On. Lemon heads, red hots, all of that. He put them together and make them. It's beautiful, man. My first noodles, I'm telling you. My son has figured out how to scrape the lemon head peels off and make lemonade with <laughs> Hey, man, we got to do that one. That's the network right there, the black man network. Uh, BMN. We have an old nigga show that come on about 10 things. Just have him sitting there talking. Guess what it's called? What? We just bullshit. Just bullshit. Just, a, just shooting a, the shit. Just shooting the shit. Just shooting the shit. Just shooting the shit. Just uh, man, we get crazy and y'all let the niggas that grew up together call it bunk beds and two niggas just get on the bunk bed and tell all the stories about the shit that happened when they was young niggas oh, in the bunk bed. Me and, yeah. <laughs> Me and my brother, nigga. We, and the set is the bunk bed. You get on the top, nigga get on the bottom, you hang off the bunk bed and just say, man, remember that time? And everybody get to tell a story, some crazy shit that happened with you and your brother, nigga. <laughs> For real, bro, that's a genius show, nigga.
Hey, shout out to y'all, man. You sold 3,000 tickets. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got some family here, so let's bow our head. Lord, thank you for safety. I thank you for bringing us here. I thank you for this family. I thank you for the ability to make these people laugh. Let us uh, make the day a little bit better, Lord, and keep bringing us together as one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go, man. Yeah, this this is day one of the tour. First back to back, we uh, St. Louis tonight sold it out, three thousand seats, most tickets we've ever done. Tomorrow we doing uh, <clears throat> Minneapolis for some comedy festival. Then next week we got a pop up shop. We launching eighty five apparel company, all the jerseys that you saw at the LA show. That's Thursday, July fourth. Then we go to Detroit on Saturday, Columbus on Friday, and then we hitting the road every weekend to uh, I want to say September. So look out for us. Appreciate all the support. It's independently owned, operated, negotiated, merchandised, traveled, budgeted. Contracted, produced, directed, edited, designed, created. Much love to y'all. Man, what it do? We in St. Louis right now in the airport on our way to Minneapolis, Minnesota. I think I might go to Prince House just to see if I can just sit on the, one of them purple couches because I know you can just absorb a whole lot of good pussy energy that Princeton had on them couches. So. Minneapolis, we on our way, man. We might hit the Mall of America and go to the Nickelodeon and ride the roller coasters and all that shit before the show. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Minneapolis got to offer. Cause Prince and uh, what Chris Rock say, Kirby Puckett is the only two niggas from Minnesota that I'm familiar with. So <laughs> we on our way. Just had me a nice granola bar. You can tell that shit probably all over my face. Bring me some water. Try to stay up before this flight take off. It's only 62 miles from Minneapolis. How, about you? It's it's so close. Close. How can it be that much different? That can make the biggest difference. Well, it wasn't Minneapolis. It was 62 miles. Well, they don't play that 62 miles from me. I'm telling you, dog. This is... We apologize. Anything we can do to make it easier? Do something. Like, don't just tell us to go hang out in the little bit ass airport. It's not that small. It'd be easier if you got the outside. Whatever we can do, let us know. Do something. I want something. Give me a sandwich or something, sir. It's terrible. You know this place is terrible. The white people don't even want to be here. <laughs> I'm finna get an Uber, dog. To so where? We're Uber. Yeah. I'm scared of it. Yeah, I think that's the place. Well, let's go. Mm. Yeah. I want a refund. <laughs> Can I have a refund? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. We in two below. I don't know where we are. Where we at, dog? I don't even know where we at. That's where we at. That's where we gotta go. We gonna tour. How's it going, bro? Chico, good. Clean. <laughs> uh, yeah, she lady said she coming. Bro. They set us up, bro. All right, that's them right there. Right, and then all the way uh, all the way. Crazy. Made it to Minnesota.
Minnesota. We're in the mall now. We had to go through a lot to get here, but we made it. We made it through the storm. Through the we storm. Got, we got uh, purified in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, you said it. Yeah, I know. He nigga bought me these, bro. A nigga bought them for you? I seen. I said, damn, I want a motherfucker. He like, why you got a motherfucker? Don't buy my shit. Oh wait, yeah, he got, he got. Oh, uh, buy the nigga number nine, man. He got show to the ticket, man. He got ticket to show. Come on, even the change. Shit. <laughs> 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 Thank you to an unknown nigga. <laughs> unknown nigga. Number one. What's up, Peter? Call the hell out there. I just was telling you. What's up, What's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah. I just my own t-shirt, bro. What's up, what's up? Welcome back. 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 Welcome Welcome back. To another rendition of the 85 South Show. They went in Minnesota. This shit been crazy already. Shit, the before the show was the show. We got dropped off in St. Cloud and left. I had to scavenge for rags. Arguing with white men. I'm ready to go home. Whoa. I'm ready to go home. Oh, ask him. Oh, ask him for it right there in the race there, white folks. He's like, y'all racist. Make them show it, guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we in Minnesota. 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 to what's been going on. This is the 85 South Show. We are live right now, you know, in parts of the city that people, you know, will normally be in. There's money everywhere. We want to go get it. We in, what, we in Minneapolis right now? Minnesota? In Minneapolis, Minnesota, in the basement that look like we can go do a goddamn fuck. Well, you the body. Exactly. What's that? that nobody talks about Fight Club, nigga. Like, we ready to be in the Fight Club. This ain't no damn Fight Club. <laughs> and it ain't the Terra Dome neither. Welcome to Minnesota, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we giving them all year. Act right, up some. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just like that. Right there, right there. <laughs> Like they right there, right there. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie.